It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central here for a special Saturday edition of Hero Wars Weekly. As I'm going to be spending Sunday with my mom and my dad and hanging out with my family. And uh, I hope all of you will be doing something similar as well. This weekend in the United States, it is Mother's Day weekend, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing my family. We're going to talk about mobile stuff first, and we're going to talk about Facebook and web stuff. Uh, Hero Wars Facebook and web players, if you are interested in just your stuff, jump to the timestamp that's on screen right now. But if you want to support the video, please watch it until the very end, uh, as that's the best way. That's the best way to support me and support Hero Wars Central. So earlier this past week on Hero Wars Mobile, we have the announcement of the uh, the new Light Titan ERE. Uh, ERE is going to be coming soon. We don't really know specifically when. I was hoping to know a little bit more about the time frame and the uh, abilities and stuff. You can check out out the full post on the Hero Wars mobile Facebook page, but uh, in comparison to the Facebook and web version of Yari, we're going to do a video discussing that a little bit later this week. Just going to kind of hover over the skill real quick, just so you can see what the Facebook and web skill looks like. And uh, we'll talk about skins and artifacts whenever it does happen, when it does officially come out later on this week. We have the addition of the Aurora mini games, the dungeon mini games that we've seen so often on the Hero Wars and Hero Wars Facebook and web ads. Nice little story having to do with uh, with Aurora and where she came from and Riversar and uh, fishermen uh, and the abyss and, and fighting fighting orcs in caves. It's actually a little fun. Though uh, for a seven-day event, it's a little slow because they only uh, they're only releasing one of the dungeon rooms at a time. This probably deserves its own full-length video, but basically the gameplay loop is you go into the abyss, you clear whatever room of the dungeon is next. You see that there are eight rooms. Uh, level four is available all the way to level eight. is going to be available in three days. You earn paladin coins. You you take the paladin coins to the uh, merchant shaba to uh, buy rewards and uh, every now and then you're going to be able to get baits from the elder right see i got the bait i got seven baits you can take the bait to the fisherman and randomly he will give you some fish and great five and two and then you take those fish over to merchant chaba to exchange for coins very straightforward and if you haven't had an opportunity to try out this new mini game i highly uh, recommend that you do so not only is it a nice change of pace it's, it's kind of fun. Light math, though, guys. Just be aware of that. Now, regarding next events on the 14th, which is uh, tonight, just in about seven or eight hours, Scorching Days is coming. This is the Fire Element Titan-focused event. You're going to get uh, these jars. The small jar opens up into the big jar. I'm sorry, it opens up into the medium jar, which opens up into the big jar. And along the way, there's a lot of rewards that you get as long, uh, along with the jars, excuse me. The biggest of which, of course, is Araji Soul Stones coming out of the biggest jar. We've had Scorching Days a number of times. This is a three-day event. It goes live May 14th, 2 a.m. UTC, as per usual. And it's going to be a great event for new players that are still lacking some of their Fire Titans, maybe trying to absolute star some of their Fire Titans. Maybe you don't even have Araji yet. Uh, it's going to be a great event for longer term players because the rewards you get out of the jars are still going to be useful and if you already have absolute starfire titans you can just exchange those for soul coins which you can use to buy you know sparks of power uh golden or you know all the all the stuff you can get from the titan soul coin vendor there is a times four task for emerald that's live right now looks like it's going to be live for the next one day and 14 hours just taking a look at some of this unfortunately ios players you're not going to get privy to this fun stuff but you can see here completing this one right here would earn me 500,000 emeralds roughly completing this one right here would earn me 1.9 million emeralds roughly the problem with this and it's absolute garbage is that if you complete some of these rewards too quickly and i don't even know what that means then you're not going to get the rewards and tap joy will suspend your account uh, additionally there's a lot of reports of people not actually getting the rewards from some of these tasks um, tap joy the company that's sponsoring this system is saying that the app isn't attributed to the game. What I would recommend you do before you spend any money or time in any of these, for example, this one right here says to install Gardenscapes and uh, get a reward. I wouldn't go all the way to rank 300. I would just get to 25 and see if you got the 2200 emeralds. I don't know how long it takes to get to 2200 emeralds. This is just an example. This one right here, let's see, upgrade your headquarters to level five. Before I purchase a three-star builder in the mall, I would get my headquarters to level five to see if I'm getting 
uh, the uh, every and to see if everything is working properly. Remember, whenever you accept these tasks, all right, you don't have to finish them in the two days. You just have to accept them and start them in this two day times four task window. All right, so be mindful of that. Hope everybody takes this opportunity to get a bunch of emeralds. We do have that new Titan event coming, and who knows what else you might be using the emeralds for. Now, a lot of you have been asking about when is the next new hero coming to Hero Wars Mobile. And uh, last year, the next hero showed up in July. Now, whether or not that's going to be the case this year or not, that was Iris. Um, I guess we'll see. That's the best uh, That's the best we could do. Over on Hero Wars Facebook and web, we just finished up a nice smooshed together events of the Great Storm, which is the pet events into the uh, one day time of the fearless event uh, and now the event that's active is a jorgen soulstone event i am kind of on the low end of excited about this jorgen soulstone event uh, at least it's a good hero to get an event for because while you can buy jorgen soulstones i wouldn't recommend spending outland coins on jorgen soulstones i'd much prefer you to buy uh, skin stone boxes or items from the outland shop now we don't know for sure for sure when this is going to happen but supposedly sometime in may the light super titan will be joining us we got the the dark super titan last month light super titan this month uh, a lot of things will happen once that titan is added to the game uh, obviously the tanks and super titans will be added to the circle of summoning the uh, uh all the all the last of the artifacts will be added in to the titan valley big money blue balls here at the altar of elements you can see that currently we have all the seals and crowns and everything but we're missing we have Tenebris's uh, artifact weapon right here, but we're missing uh, the uh, the Light Super Titan's artifact weapon. And once that's in there, you know we won't have any any new artifact components or anything like that for a while. When specifically that uh, that new Super Titan is going to be added, I I really have no idea. Hopefully, hopefully very soon. I could have bet the house uh, on uh, that being this current weekend, and I thought it would be right, but. You know what? It it is it it is what it is. Now, as far as leaks and uh, upcoming news, sneak peeks, all of that, we actually don't have much information for Hero Wars Facebook and web yet. But what we can look at is last year. So last year around this time, uh, Mojo was slightly upgraded, and he had a Mojo's Brawl. That doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get a reworked hero this year, but it is possible that we will. And you know, Mojo was a lesser used hero. Ah. Uh, do we do we use him now much? I don't know. I know some people do, but you know he didn't become meta uh, all of a sudden. Uh, you know, but you know, I guess maybe maybe it's possible. The next set of skins that are coming to Hero Wars Facebook and Web is going to be uh, late July when Summer Festival happens. Uh, Summer Festival is the next big event. There'll be three new solar skins. So, uh, you know, you have a little bit of a lull between now and then on spinning skin stones. End of July is the next uh, next set of skins. A lot of you have been asking about when the next pet is coming to Hero Wars Facebook and web. It's always in the fall. And last year it was mid to late August, August, 2022. Uh, if we get a new pet, I would probably think that it's going to be around the same time around August, September of uh, 2023. Do I know anything about the pet yet? No, just that uh, consistently in the last two years, this has been about when it uh, it has been released. And finally, a lot of you have been asking about when the next hero is coming to Hero Wars Facebook and Web. Fafnir came to Hero Wars Facebook and Web about this time last year, well, about September of last year, I should say. I would probably expect a new hero mid-September at the earliest. I don't think we'll see anything else. Though, I wouldn't put it past them to add anything between now and then. And that goes for Hero Wars Mobile as well. So, hope you found this video informational, educational, and entertaining, etc., etc. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Don't forget that we live stream a couple of days a week. The schedule is on stream now. We also uh, do Hero Wars videos every single day. And if you want to catch those, please consider hitting that subscribe button and clicking that notification bell so that you never miss a video. I don't ask for that very much. Thought I would throw that in here this time. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.